sonradan şey yaparsak diye. Evet Ecanur, veganizmle ilgili bir e, sunum hazırladın. Tüketici davranışı dersimizin kapsamında. Şimdi seni dinliyoruz. Evet. First of all, vegan means uh, not supplying any nutritional needs from animals. For example, eating meat, milk, egg or using real letter or fur. And also there are reasons such as protect the environment or eating healthy. But the most important reason is the respect for the animals. Because what happens in the industry is no longer a secret. There are so many rich companies that are exploiting and kills animals in every second. They lie us every day on their advertisers and they don't want us to see what happens in the industry. They do this just because to earn more money. AJ, can you please turn back uh, the, the X uh, present PowerPoint? The first one. The first one. The, the, the, this, yeah, this one. Veganism. And then the, the effect of veganism on consumption behavior. The second one. Good. Thank you. Continue, please. And now I want to show you about a video uh, about dairy industry. What happens in the dairy industry? Mm -hmm. This baby cow was born last night. Oh, that's a pity. Oh. Mother cows have been known to cry for weeks over the loss of their babies. Ah. Çok üzücü. Çok. In about four years, after this cow's milk production starts to decline, she will be killed and become hamburger meat. This is the price a mother and her baby pay for meat, meat, or dairy products. Oh. In general, are you vegan? I'm trying to be. Oh. So, this video just the soft one. In real, cows are raped every day in order to be drink their milk. When they are no longer useful for their industry, they sent to the slaughterhouse and murdered in cold blood just because we eat their meat. So, drinking milk or eating meat is that important? Do we have to do this to animals or is it okay not eating your dog but eating cows? And despite all of them, there are so many articles written by professors. They say that eating animals makes you sick, eating meat makes you cancer. But we grow up knowing that drinking milk is okay to our health. Milk makes us strong, but it is not. Cows milk just for a baby cow, not for the humans. Also, there are so many plant-based milks, such as coconut milk, almond milk, soya milk. I mean, we don't need to drink cow milk, but the industry makes us to believe that it's normal and it's okay. Again, they do this to earn more money. So, uh, another issue... I'm sorry, I want to ask a question. Uh, what has changed already? And when, actually? Because, uh, as you said, uh, we are uh, grown up with uh, milk, uh, fresh milk. Uh, also, we had uh, well, uh, delivery many, as you can remember, from our childhood, I remember very clearly we had a milk uh, milkman, you know, and uh, 
in, in small uh, villages or uh, small locations uh, in the past, I mean, uh, there were uh, milkmen and uh, distributed uh, milk as a very healthy thing to, to uh, grow children, to feed children. Uh, what is actually changed as a scientific uh, uh, approach? Do you know? Uh, do you identify the scientifically uh, the, the scientifically changed the, the critical uh, dates or term? What has changed actually? First of all, uh, as I said before, uh, the industry. What happens in the industry is no longer a secret. They know what happens to them, and it's so sad what hap what's happening right now in industries. And there are also so many diseases uh, about uh, eating meat or drinking milk. Uh, they search it and uh, the only problem is the drinking milk. Hey Jenner, uh, is the problem, uh, can the problem uh, be uh, the, the way of feeding of the cow and this kind of uh, big animals? Because, uh, the industry actually feed them uh, to to get more milk, to get more meat from them, and uh, the, the, their feeding is not natural way. Uh, they uh, grow up in a uh, in a big uh, chiflik farms, yes, mm -hmm. and they they don't uh, eat natural things. Yes, That's because I think their meats and the meats are not very healthy anymore. Not yes. same as yes. our childhood. So yes. Yes, after it's industrialization, true. after industrialization, after industrial mm -hmm. feeding and growing of these yes. kind of big animals, uh, animals is, uh, sources like milk, meat, whatever, uh, become uh, unhealthy. Yes, you're right. Yeah. And another issue is the use animals on clothes uh, or using animals in labs. We put them in a cage and doing experiments on them by force. Mm -hmm. There are again so many companies that are still doing animal experiments. They test eyeliners on rabbits, perfumes on monkeys, or uh, medicines on mouses. I want to show you a quick video about animal experiment. Animal testing for cosmetics. It's still happening here. It's well hidden, but it's still happening. Thought it was a thing of the past. Think again. We're told it's necessary, unavoidable, for our own safety. That isn't. Companies want us to look the other way because if we knew the truth, we'd get angry and demand an end with animal testing for cosmetics. And that's exactly what we want you to help us do. Worldwide, nearly half a million rabbits and other animals are blinded, poisoned, and killed each year to test new cosmetic products and their ingredients. All to make new and improved claims, or to sell in countries that still require animal testing, like China. But the truth is that animal testing for cosmetics can be stopped immediately without any harm to consumers. There are already thousands of tools for companies to use, and modern non-animal testing methods have been proven to be more predictive than last century's animal tests. Nearly 40 countries have already banned animal testing for cosmetics, including the whole of the European Union, with similar bans in development across the globe. The Bee Cruelty Free campaign led by Humane Society International is at the forefront of this global cruelty free trend. Bee Cruelty Free is the largest campaign in history to end animal testing for cosmetics. We have, through Humane Society International and our partners, campaigns on the ground in over a dozen major countries. These are the largest cosmetic manufacturing countries in the world. I think people have assumed that the problem doesn't exist or it's gone away. The opposite. It's shocking. Oh. I'm 
Americans and Canadians alike are strongly opposed to animal testing for cosmetics. We have legislation pending for a number of years that some of our political leaders to get behind these bills. Join us in ending cosmetic animal testing forever. There's a movement to end animal testing for cosmetics happening now. Join us. Oh, uh, so what a pity. And uh, do you know the date of uh, this movie already taken? Uh, it passed, I think. It, it, it's a bit old, I think. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> not new. Yes. Do you know the date exactly? No? No. Mm. Can it's you please make a search about it? I, I'm just curious about it. Okay, I will. Thank you. So, a vegan side should like to show us what is right to do. There are so many movies, documentaries about why you should go vegan. And uh, my all-time favorite is Co-Spice. Uh, you must watch it on Netflix. And if you think that movies about veganism are boring, I want to show you a trailer, especially for men. And um, there are so many vegan celebrities, influencers that are trying to uh, influence people. And I posted Joking Phonics Oscar speech on Padlet. Um, Ece, uh, is it a, a trend uh, in the uh, America, especially in the Hollywood or uh, among yes. celebrities? Yes. Mm -hmm. Another. Or and, and, living. Any other countries that you know, or uh, you, you you just uh, uh, identified that uh, veganism is uh, yes. going up? Mm -hmm. Which countries? Uh, UK. UK also. Mm -hmm. Most popular vegan country in the world. Oh, UK. I, I will explain it later. Uh, the, the percentage of the vegans are uh, more than uh, you, you, U.S. In Almost. The UK? Almost. Okay. So. Uh, what about Turkey? I'm sorry. What about Turkey? Do you know any? <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's very interesting. Thank you. Uh, day by day, you see uh, Canada's cruel food industry is dying. Uh, interest in veganism increased sevenfold in the five years between 2014 and 2020, according to Global Trends. Now it gets almost four times more interest than vegetarian and gluten free searches. Mm -hmm. Veganism in UK. In 2018, the UK launched more vegan products than any nation. In 2019, Brighton was found to be the easiest area to be vegan. Orders of vegan meals grew 388% and they are, now they are now the UK's fastest growing takeaway choice. And going vegan was predicted to be the biggest food trend in 2018. And British children aged 8 to 16 are vegan or vegetarian and 44% trying to eat less meat, dairy and eggs. And you see food companies started to produce vegan foods. For example, Magnum launched new um, Magnum Vegan. 
in Europe. And Burger King, KFC, McDonald's, they are all now uh, selling uh, vegan burgers in Europe. Are, are these uh, products also launched in Turkey? Do we know anyone? Uh, uh, no, not McDonald's or Burger King, but there are some... What about, uh, uh, what about the ice cream? Yes, uh, Magnum. Yes, Is it Magnum. Here? Yes, on the market in Turkey? Yes, in Turkey, there is... Oh, I, I didn't know this. Thank you. It's new. Mm, when? Do you know when these kind of products launched to Turkey? Last, last month, I think. Last, last month? No, past, past months. Uh, I don't know the exact time, but uh, it's... Uh, in, in last six months or a year? Yeah. Less, less six months. Okay. And when it comes to beauty and household products, uh, there is a 20% increase in searches for vegan makeup. Mm -hmm. And not tested on animals is the most important packaging claim for 57% of people. Okay, these, these are the symbols of uh, the... Uh, yes, vegan makeup vegan, products. Vegan symbols or... Vegan sim, evet, evet. Okay. So, UK is the most popular country for veganism. The number of vegans in America grew by 600% from nearly 4 million to 19.6 million. In USA, two in three Americans have stopped or reduced their meat consumption. Consumption of plant milk increased by 61% while consumption of cold milk decreased by 22%. Okay. So 400 million fewer animals were killed in 2014 compared to 2007 because people were eating less animal products. And now people searching for vegan Thanksgiving recipes, not turkey Thanksgiving recipes. And a company called Main Foods reported $74 million loss due to vegan egg alternatives. So what about in Turkey? A vegan number has increased a lot in recent years. Vegans in Turkey are always trying to explain what veganism is and why we should go vegan. Mavi using less energy and water with vegan production. All blue launched in Turkey on the same day in New York and Berlin. And you see uh, Turkey's Turkey, product. Okay. What about Mavi uh, in Turkey? They didn't uh, launch any product? Yo, hayır hocam yaptılar. Zaten onun haberi bu. Ah, but... <laughs> İlk defa said... vegan ürün Hala, yaptılar. Turkey, I'm sorry. I just uh, recognize now. Okay. Uh, and Turkey, Starbucks start producing and selling vegan foods. Now it is so much easier to find vegan alternatives in Starbucks. Good. And students and teachers in Dokuzeyler University wanted to vegan food menu and they request accepted. Mm -hmm. And another good example is a prisoner in Turkey uh, wanted to eat vegan in prison and her request accepted too. And you all know Getter application. Now Getter has so many vegan foods on their application because okay. vegan number in Turkey is increasing day by day. Mm. And uh, you see Vegan Bakkal is the first uh, vegan grocery store in Turkey. There are also so many vegan restaurants in Istanbul. Maybe uh, you can't find any specific vegan foods in ordinary groceries, but Migros and Carrefour started to sell vegan foods for vegans. Mm -hmm. And now uh, I am telling you about coronavirus, why this happened, how this affected our lives. First of all, uh, you should know that every zoonotic diseases occur because climate change, farming, wildlife trade. And if the world go vegan, we are not be here in that position. For example, bird flu happened because we ate birds. Met cow happened because we ate cows. 
And I want to show you a great coronavirus comment by American comedian Bill Maher. time bombs tick the same. Americans should not get too high and mighty about wet markets while we are doing this. Most, if not all, infectious diseases are zoonotic, meaning they start in animals and jump to humans. AIDS likely came from climate. Someone butchered a monkey or fucked one or something they shouldn't have been with a monkey. Mad cow came from cattle, eating cattle like feeding a chicken an omelet. Just two weeks ago, a fatal strain of bird flu was confirmed in a commercial turkey block in South Carolina. Now, to thwart the coronavirus, we've been told to create distance, avoid others who are sick, lower stress, and exercise. Are you surprised that diseases flourish among animals when they're forced to live in conditions that are the complete opposite of all that? They're on top of each other, they can't move, they're stressed out. I've seen airports treat luggage better than we treat animals. Egg-laying hens are starved, and you've been no water for weeks to shock your body. Beaks of chickens are removed. I could go on. Have you ever driven by a high-density feed lot? You get relief from the stench of a stick your nose in an egg salad sandwich. If you think the market in Wuhan is gross, you should visit one of our giant poultry processing factories. But of course you can, because we have ag gag laws that make it a crime to report the crime. And it is a crime of animal abuse that goes on in our food industry. You're worried that the mailman has coronavirus? 80% of pigs have pneumonia when they're slaughtered. Because we make them live in conditions that would make a zombie vomit. And then, so they don't die before we kill them them full of antibiotics that in turn get passed on to humans. That in turn leads to antibiotic resistant diseases. That in turn leads to us dying from ever evolving contagions. It's six degrees of tainted bacon. We're on the cusp of returning to a pre-antibiotic era where strep throat is a death sentence. Let me put it as basically as I can. If we keep producing food the way we do, you're going to get sick with something medicine cannot fix. You don't have to care for the sake of the animal. I wouldn't want to mess with anyone's reputation as a heartless asshole. But do it because animal cruelty leads to human catastrophe. Get the fuck away from me from Tiger King. I don't care that he sees the light at the end. So did Darth Vader. The such a thing as keeping a wild animal bent up and treating them well. Joe Exotic is in prison partly for killing five endangered tigers, which are endangered because of people like him. They keep animals in cages, be they tigers or turkeys, and look who winds up being the prison. Of. Güzeldi değil mi hocam? Çok oldu şu an yani. Beni gerçekten yerime zımbaladı. Yani pek çoğunu biliyordum ama yani inanılmaz bir şey. Bunun linki nerede canım? Bunu şeyden paylaşabilir misin chatten? Tabii hocam atarım. Of. Neket vereceğim. And all in all, uh, the animals that we turn into food, turn into clothes, turn into competitors, 
they are not just something. They are unique somebodies. They are not just in the world. They, they are aware of the world. They are aware what happens to them, what happens to their babies, because they are all feel the pain. So not eating your cat, but eating a cow is not okay. We must love them equally. We must treat them well, because when we didn't, you see what happens. Burada bir şeyler oldu bir dakika. I am done. Yeah. You did very well. Thank you very much. Just a minute. I just, yeah, just a minute. Hmm. Ah, Ece. Hocam daha çok şey vardı paylaşmak istedim de sizi sıkmak istemedim. Yani en böyle bulduğum yumuşak videoları falan koymaya çalıştım. Yoksa bir araştırmaya başlayınca içinden çıkamıyorsunuz zaten. Ee, şey yapar mısın lütfen? O linkleri <gülüyor> e, linkleri benimle paylaşabilir misin? Bu çok ilginç. Tabii hocam. Yani gerçekten çok ilginç. Ee, böyle bir herkesi göreyim bakayım kimler var? Yedi kişiyiz. Aa, bir dakika. Herkes görünmüyor. 2, 4, 6 görünüyor. E, kamerasız katılım mı var? İslam galiba hocam. Efe? İzlem? İzlem kamerası yok hocam. İzlem, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Did you, did you hear, follow the presentation? Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Mm, I, I agree with um, some the the thing that uh, she said. Yeah. About about animals. Yeah. It's very dramatic. Hmm. Yeah. It's very dramatic. I was so sad about the animals. And uh the. I, the truth, actually, the man said, you know, about the animal uh, farms, uh, growing of the animal farms, uh, really um, horrible, horrible. Thank you very much, uh, Ejener. It was great, really. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And um, the uh, now the presentation quality is quite high. Begin uh, very uh, high quality. So uh, my expectations uh, from other students can't be lower than. Can you please be aware of these presentation? quality and uh, um, the sources, uh, the presentation the speed, uh, English quality is quite uh, well. Thank you very much, uh, Ejener, and please um, the, the other students, my students, uh, also prepare presentations not better than these or similar, similar with these, okay? And now I have to uh, end the meeting. Uh, just we come back because uh, just uh, I think we, the, the remaining time is what? Just two minutes? Like Five minutes. Okay, uh, I'm gonna end the meeting, come back again, again.